up from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door this morning which I'm so thankful for because yesterday was a day it was rough I just I was very overwhelmed with work stuff and just life stuff everything it was one of those days where everything was kind of coming down at me at once and so I just felt again super overwhelmed and I had like a couple little breakdowns you know it was just one of those emotional days but I'm thankful today's a new day the Sun is shining I'm feeling good I'm just finishing getting ready I was able to squeeze in a little workout this morning which I think is definitely contributing to kind of my more energetic mood today so I'm thankful I was able to squeeze that in and today I'm just gonna be home all day getting some work done actually no I'm not gonna be home all day because later tonight my friend she just had a baby so we're taking her dinner and we're gonna meet her beautiful son so that's what we're doing tonight but besides that we are going to be home all day. Actually, Brandon's at work at his office. He had to go in today. So he's there, but I'm going to be home for most of the day. And we have just some work to get done, some things around the house. I'd love to get some laundry done, but it's a good day and I'm excited to spend the day with you. So I'm just going to finish doing my makeup and then I will catch up with you guys. I don't even feel like doing my hair, but maybe I'll just add some little waves or something to kind of put myself a little more together but it's gonna be a good one and i'm excited to spend time with you this is what i'm wearing this morning i just kept on my little workout set from free people which i absolutely love it's so stretchy and comfortable and then i just threw on this sweater because i'm about to film a little portion of my farmer's market versus grocery store video i've been working on and basically i'm just comparing the two and seeing like what the difference is financially but also just with the quality because I would really love to potentially just shop at the farmer's market. So I'm going to work on that video this morning and actually film, like I said. So I just want this sweater for that video, but I'll probably change again later for some other things I'm working on. But a little room update. This room is still very bare. We have a long way to go, but we did get our bed frame but it's actually supposed to have a headboard that goes with it that was one of the really kind of frustrating things yesterday because i actually really need i need a bed for a campaign i'm working on um because it has to do with like bedding and stuff um so i was really frustrated because i was finally we've been waiting for this bed frame for i ordered it before i moved in so probably like a month and a half so I was like, yay, it's finally here. Can't wait to put it together. But then of course it's missing like the whole piece. They actually sent us two identical huge packages. So I was like, oh, perfect. Like, cause I knew it was supposed to come with two packages. So I thought we were all good, but they sent us two of this section. So the bottom section, they sent two of the exact same 
bed frame but no headboard so I'm still just figuring out when they're gonna be able to send the headboard I've been emailing them and I called them yesterday so it's just kind of one of those things but thankfully we have our bed frame I am thankful for that and it was fun last night was the first night that we didn't sleep on the floor so that was exciting but yeah another little house update that didn't go so smoothly but I know it'll all work out flowers we purchased this weekend at the farmers market are still looking so gorgeous I absolutely love admiring them every day so I'm doing the bedding laundry in our guest bedroom because this weekend my little cousins stayed with us and we babysat and it was so fun. They're so sweet and just hilarious and so joyful to be around. But wow, it really is tiring having, they're seven and eight um, and it's, they're just at that age where like they have so much energy and want to do something exciting every single minute of the day. So I definitely was quite tired after and I think about this often, but I posted this on Instagram the other day too, but I just want to give a shout out to all the moms and dads out there who seriously make so many sacrifices and who spend and dedicate so much of their life nurturing and caring for their babies it really is so incredible to me and i feel like it's so easy to just kind of feel discouraged or like all your hard work goes unnoticed or un unappreciated and i just like I could start crying honestly because I feel like it's such a beautiful thing what you do to raise these kids and like you seriously have to put so much energy into them and of course you love them so much but it's like it's a lot so I just think it's so amazing that you do all that and I just want to give a little shout out and encouragement to all the parents out there and I hope you can find some rest and just feel really really appreciated today and always because you really are heroes, truly, you're rock stars. So I'm giving you a big hug. And again, I just hope you can get a little rest today. chopping session to replenish our stash in the refrigerator and now I'm just sitting at our island getting some work done and I wanted to take a moment to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of today's video. This year has just been so trying and the world can just feel so heavy and it's really difficult to sometimes process your feelings or just kind of get stuck in a state of unhappiness and i want to share better help because they're an incredible resource to help you kind of get on the right track and be able to find someone that you trust to talk to because unfortunately i know not everyone has people like that in their life so if you feel like there's something interfering with your happiness or if you feel like there's something just preventing you from achieving your goals better help actually will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist and it's not a crisis line it's not self-help 
It is professional counseling done securely online. They have a really broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's network, which may not be locally available in many areas. Their service is also available for clients worldwide, so it's super accessible. And you can log into your account anytime to message your counselor. You'll also get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video and phone sessions, so you'll never have to sit in any uncomfortable waiting rooms like in traditional therapy. BetterHelp is also committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. I also really appreciate how they ask so many questions when you are signing up. So they ask you, you know, your gender and your relationship status, and also if you identify with any sort of religion. So for example, if you identify with Christianity, they have the option to get paired with a Christian counselor, which I think is an awesome feature. It's also more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. Again, BetterHelp just wants to help you live a happier life. And if you would like to learn more and get started today, you can go to betterhelp.com slash bickerstaff. Again, that's better H-E-L-P. And when you use my link, you get a special offer of 10% off your first month. And you can join over a million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. So I think that's an incredible resource and I'm excited to share that with you all. So I'm just going to finish up a bit of computer work and then I think it's time for some afternoon coffee. definitely one of my favorite parts of our house. I spend so much time in this little corner. It makes me happy with all the natural light. And this coconut latte actually turned out quite nicely, I'm pleased to report. So I've been getting better at frothing up the non-dairy milk because coconut milk is my all-time favorite type of milk. But at first, when I was first making these lattes at home with my espresso maker, it just was not happening, but I didn't, I had no idea what I was doing, but now I have like a better grasp. I still am not great at it, but it's definitely better. So I'm thankful for that. And I wanted to tell you guys about a really sweet experience I had at the beginning of this week. So my friend Faith and I, we went to this river called Crystal River in Florida, and it is so beautiful we went on a little kayak ride and we saw so many manatees so i just wanted to share because i feel like lots of people don't really know about manatees and they're one of my favorite animals they make me so happy they're absolutely huge and they're just so gentle and curious they really are most common in florida so i feel like a lot of people just in the country and other parts of the country or the world like you don't really hear or see about them much but i think they're just so amazing they're vegetarian so they really just eat at the earth at the bottom of the water so they actually can live in salt water and fresh water but they i think they prefer fresh water at least in the winter but they primarily are in florida and they were just everywhere so i'll insert little clips of the manatees swimming around living their best life and it was so sweet we saw one a mom feeding her baby and then we also just saw like a ton of baby manatees which like there's nothing cuter they're so precious so i just wanted to share that but I'm going to just sip on this a little more, get organized with work and other things like that. So I'll get going on that soon. It's 5 p.m. and I'm just about to make the bed. <laughs> Better late than never, right? We just got back from 
we're meeting my friend's precious angel boy baby. He is so cute and I got to hold him and it was just a beautiful experience. And we got some Thai food, which is also just a beautiful experience, eating Thai food. So I got the spicy pad thai and then we also got the red curry and we haven't got the red curry before but I think it's going to be good and nice and spicy and it just comes with some rice. So I'll show you what it looks like but it smells amazing and we're both pretty hungry so it's going to be wonderful to enjoy. You excited for dinner? Yes. <laughs> here's the red curry and then here's the pad thai. I also made us a little salad to go with it with some ginger dressing. Dinner was delicious and we just finished watching The Crown, which is such a beautiful show. It's a cinematic masterpiece, truly. So. Is it beautiful? Is it beautiful? You don't think it's beautiful? Well, it's intense. It's it's well done. Dramatic, I but yeah. Say it's beautiful. Well, it's beautiful cinematography and the outfits and the scenery. It's beautiful. Okay. But yeah, I'm just going to. <laughs> he doesn't like my adjective choice, I guess, but I'm just going to finish up some work tonight, get ready for bed, and then tomorrow morning I'm running some errands. I'm going to IKEA and we'll see where else, but that's the plan. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night. <laughs> friends I just parked at Ikea and I have my little list on my phone of things I need to pick up for the house so I'm hoping I'll just be really quick in there a little quick walk through I'm not even gonna go through the showrooms I just want to go to like the bottom floor and get everything on the list and then I'll show you everything I picked up once I get home shopping adventure so let me show you what I picked up kind of random but I was able to get stuff I needed to finish hanging up some curtains and I also found some cute pillows so I'm excited to see how they look because I've been wanting to get kind of like the rectangular lumber size pillows for these two chairs just to kind of add a little additional element and some plushiness oh and also I need to show you guys I follow this vintage local store on Instagram and they posted these beautiful arched rattan bookshelves and I was able to snag one so basically what they do is they post it and then if anyone wants to claim via dm you can claim it and then call them to pay for it and then pick it up whenever so i did that and i'm so excited so i'll show you what it looks like i'm not going to pick it up until next week so i won't get it in my hands for a little bit but i'm looking forward to that so one of the first things i got from ikea is this just white plain bathrobe and this is actually going to be for our guest bedroom because i just want it to be super cute and in the closet in the guest bedroom i want to just have like those nice wooden hangers and then a bathrobe hanging up so whenever guests stay they can get all cozy with a robe and i actually plan to do like a whole guest bedroom refresh video showing you the before and after with like the wallpaper and then some other little components so that'll be part of that video and I'm really looking forward to that little makeover and then we also just have these little baskets so it's kind of hard to tell right now let me just set it up to show you they come collapsed but they actually are nice oh oh okay I don't really know what I'm doing so I think you just put this piece right here at the bottom. But I really liked how tall these were because I think I'm gonna end up putting these in the laundry room as well, in addition to the current baskets I have. Um, but for these baskets, I can fit kind of those taller cleaning supplies, but I thought these were really beautiful. And they were $10 each, which I thought is a fabulous price for these woven baskets. 
excited about those. And then these are the pillows I was talking about. So I will open them up in a second, but I got two of them for those chairs in our living room. And then I got these pillowcases for them. And it's just this kind of beige woven fabric and i just thought it was really beautiful and neutral so we'll see how those those look and then i also got some more of these reusable canisters which are fabulous just for food storage and i'm going to use them in our pantry because i've been needing some more for just random pantry food like our popcorn and our coconut our shredded coconut and all that stuff so i'm glad i got those and then i also got these two little light bulb hanging things for our master bedroom because we're going to be hanging these little pendants on both sides of our bed but the pendants i ordered from etsy and they won't arrive until early february i think but i just wanted to grab these while i was at ikea and then the last thing pretty boring but just some curtain rod hooks for our guest bedroom and downstairs in my office so those are all of the goodies <laughs> Okay, so I definitely like having this size pillow in the chair, but I'm not totally completely sold on the pillow yet. I know it doesn't even look like much, but it does add another element and just kind of more dimension to the chairs. So I like that, but I'm again, just not a hundred percent sold, but I might just be kind of adjusting to it. So I'm going to meditate it on a bit more, but I wanted to show you guys the difference. That's gonna be it for today's vlog though. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day getting some work done, getting organized, spending some time with Brandon, but thank you guys so much for watching and spending time with me and I cannot wait to see you super soon.